Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a video today about training in multiple disciplines. I think this is something that a lot of people have asked me about, especially since I talk about specialization quite a bit. If you haven't, haven't heard me talk about specializing, you can check out the playlist here, the big old playlist on specialization questions. But before we get into the question today, I do want to take a moment to thank our wonderful sponsor on Simple Programmer, which is Hire.com. I have really enjoyed working with Hire.com. They're, they're just pretty awesome people, so that's you know that's one of the cool things about uh, about having a sponsor that you actually like, and that's uh, that's pretty much something I won't compromise on a simple programmer. So anyway, let me tell you about them real quick. They basically help you with your job search, and they do it in a different way than what you're used to, right? So you can go on to Hire.com. In fact, go to Hire.com forward slash simple programmer, and I'll tell you why you want to use that link in a second here. But you go on there, you fill out an application, and then what they will do is they will match you up with companies. So companies will actually start soliciting you, and it, it sort of flips things around. So you don't have to splash out 50,000 resumes and, and all of that. So it's a really good process. You should check it out if you haven't already. Go to Simple Programmer or go to Hire.com forward slash Simple Programmer and they'll actually give you like $2,000 instead of the normal $1,000 bonus. Now when you go in there, it might show $1,000, but trust me, if you get a job with them, they will give you the $2,000. They are good for it. Uh, you can definitely trust Hire.com. I, I like them. They're, they're pretty cool. Anyway, so let's talk about whether or not it's a good idea to train in multiple disciplines. So I got this email that says, Hey John, I really enjoy watching your show. You have a lot of experience and knowledge in the area of software development and in life in general. I really appreciate you sharing your knowledge and wisdom, which I believe will decrease the amount of if I only knew that moments in my future life. <laughs> All right, my current and future self thanks you. Um, and, he, and he says here, his question is, is it a good idea to train in multiple disciplines? Am I becoming a jack of all trades and a master of none? I'm worried about spreading myself too thin. So there's a real famous guy that I happen to know of, not know, but know of, uh, who trains in multiple disciplines and it's benefited his life quite a bit. And his name is Elon Musk. You may have heard of him. He's the CEO of Tesla and he uh, also was one of the founders of PayPal and uh, SpaceX, right? Uh, he's done quite a few different things here, right? And been su super successful. He's literally a rocket scientist, but he also has uh, incredible business skills. He learned the auto uh, industry and energy, right? He's got multiple disciplines that he's become an expert in. And because of that, he's applying some of the thinking from different industries and different disciplines uh, together and combining them in different ways that is, is creating innovation. And so a lot of innovation comes from it comes from someone outside of the field or, or, or cross-pollinating ideas from different fields, right? And you'll see this a lot in history. You'll see that there are a lot of successful people that came from the outside and, and came into a field and then revolutionized that field to some degree. I think you, there, there's, there's a few examples. I did this video, uh, this video interview. Uh, with uh, Perry Marshall, you can check out here, and he talks about, he gives some of those examples, I'm gonna go through all of them there, but, and he's an example of it, right? Because he has multiple discipline areas. And, and here, if you wanna really, like an example, honestly, I, I do this, right? Because, you know, and some people try to put me in a box, right? I did this video, <laughs> this video about people putting me in a box, trying to say, hey, you're not qualified to talk about this, and saying, you need to just stick to the programming stuff. Well, you know what? The reason why I'm good at some of the things that I do is because that I have multiple disciplines that, I, that I'm training in, right? And and you know I'm 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 expanding this question to the broader scope because I think that that it applies outside of programming, right? Because you can have multiple disciplines within programming, multiple programming language, multiple specialties. It's it's good, right? You want to specialize, you want to have something that you're actually really good at, but you can you can pick multiple ones of these, right? We call this a, a T-shaped knowledge. We have a you know a, a T essentially like a very broad base and a very deep specialization, but it can also be, you know, an F-shaped, an E-shaped, right, as you develop deep areas, right, and the more deep areas you have, the, the more that they're going to complement each other and the more things that you're going to find. So that's what applies in development, but it also applies in life in general, right? You know, for example, I, I did some acting for a while. I got good 
at, at doing that, not, not super expert level, but that's helped me here with, with YouTube videos to have stage presence, to be able to talk in front of the camera, right? There's, I did video recording and, and editing, right? When I created tutorials, right, for Pluralsight. I've done programming, right? And with various different languages and technologies. I've gotten into fitness and become good at that, right? There's a lot of different expertise and specialties, real estate investment, all of these things, business, as I've had to incorporate that. And having all of those kind of expertise in those areas that are fairly deep in, in some of those areas that I took a lot of time to develop helps me as I see the overlap, right? And I give you a, a real good example here is one that, you know, if you didn't know this, if, if, you, if you've played poker professionally, like to a high level, which, which I did for a little bit, and, and, you've, and you understand options trading, right? And you understand bankroll ma management and how to do complex options trading. They're the same thing. <laughs> There's so much carryover. There's this concept in poker of EV, expected value, right? And that same same concept really applies to deltas in in options trading. I'm you know I'm, I'm talking a little bit. Probably some of you don't, don't understand what I'm talking about, but just trust me on this one. That there's extreme parallels, especially in bankroll management. Those same skills. And so what I'm saying here is basically this: Don't worry about training in multiple disciplines. It's good. Just you you'll be you'll be a jack of all trades, master of none if you dabble in multiple areas. Get deep knowledge in multiple areas. Become really good in multiple areas, okay? And then also have a broad base. That that's that's where you, you've got the the trivial pursuit knowledge, right? It's it's good to have a broad base in whatever you're doing so you understand the lay of the land. You know, that's 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 the, the thing is like you should you should be dynamic. You should understand the lay of the land of multiple things. I understand the lay of the land about medical technology, about a bunch of different things, but I'm, I don't have expertise in in necessarily all of that scope but I pick a sp few spots I'm like okay here's where I'm planting a flag in this one here's where I'm planting a flag in this one and this one and you develop that expertise and then that really really helps you because those ideas combine they coagulate they make something new out of it but it, it takes time it takes time to do that so when you start off when you're starting off make sure that you you know get a good base, a good lay of the land, then pick some spot, specialize in that. And when you've gotten, you know, diminishing returns, then it might be time to figure out another broad base and specialize in that. Or it might be in the same base, might be in the same area, right? When I'm, I'm talking about maybe you have multiple specializations in programming that will benefit you, but maybe you pick a different area and you get the broad base and you specialize there and then that cross pollination helps you. So anyway, I, I, that's, that's about all I've got to say about that. I think it's it's valuable. Like I said, it does not prevent you from specializing. The, the, the strategy is to do both of these things. It just takes time. Being a renaissance man or being a, what do they call it, a polymath is always, always going to be extremely valuable. It's just that most people get this wrong. They think that you know they just dabble in most players. They never give the dedication required in order to actually become good and, and get the benefits from it. So and if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Check out hire.com forward slash simple programmer and uh, and click that subscribe button. I will talk to you next time. Take care.